Hey guys, what's up? Shin0555 here. Actually making a tutorial this time. A uh, little story behind this is I recently got a Steam Deck, and um, one good thing about the Steam Deck is it's an emulator powerhouse, and um, one of the systems I wanted to really emulate was uh, the Wii U. And um, the Wii U takes a little bit of... Um, like, it's a little bit harder than the un other emulators to get the games running. It's a little tricky. You, you actually have to know a little bit of stuff. So that's what this video is going to be about. Um, it's just a way, uh, just a nice tutorial to show you how to get Wii U games uh, running on the Steam Deck. And also putting it in the game interface. So when you're in game mode, you can just click on it like a normal Steam game you have downloaded on your Steam Deck. So I'm going to show you um, the entire process um, from start to finish, so hopefully you can install uh, your Wii U games and be playing them by the end of this video. And um, But before we start, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. That really helps me out, um, and I really do appreciate it. And also you can follow me on all my socials. Linked are, links are down in the description below. Um, and secondly, there are a couple prerequisites uh, you need before uh, watching this video. Um, the first one is you need to download a program called Emudeck. Now, Emudeck, um, I'm not going to show you how to install it on your Steam Deck. There's actually a ton of videos. It's really simple. All you do, all you do is like go to the website, you download the startup, and then you just like follow this step-by-step -step instructions. And um, basically, what it is is it's a program that a bunch of smart people made that allow you that basically pre-installs emulators for you on your Steam Deck and then gives you a program to let uh, let you put them in like the game interface. So I'm going to go over on how to use it, but I'm not going to go over on how to install it. So um, if you want to install it, uh, you have to go find some other video. And uh, another note on that one, a lot of people when they install Emudeck, they install it on their SD card. I actually installed mine straight to the Steam Deck itself. So. I'll mention this in the tutorial. It's it basically what it does is it changes um, basically two folders. Um, but I'll mention it. I'll, I'll let you know in the video. Um, second thing, I cannot tell you where to download the game files. Um, I can't link it. I can't like mention it. Uh, you're gonna have to find the uh, Wii, Wii U game files on your own. Um, but if you need really need help with it, if you if you just Google whatever game you want on Google, like do a Google search and like game file or ROM or whatever, I'm pretty sure you can figure out how how and where to find the game files. And thirdly, last um, thing I want to mention, I am using a dock. Uh, it's not the Steam dock; it's like a third-party one, but it still works great. I recommend um, getting the dock and using a keyboard and mouse. Um, it's not necessary, but it does make this process a lot easier and smoother to um, go through. So just note, I will be using a keyboard and mouse um, while doing this tutorial. But um, other than that, that's pretty much all you need to know before we start. And um, yeah, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch into desktop mode and record it through a... a capture card so it comes out all nice and clear and you guys can see um, see everything uh, easily I'm not gonna do it in handheld mode here so uh, anyway guys let's jump into the tutorial and let's get started hey guys a uh, tiny hiccup on this uh, whole tutorial video here um, apparently I can't record desktop mode using my capture card it just uh, freaks out um, it, will, it will record the uh, game interface like this right here, but when I switch to desktop mode, which is necessary for this tutorial, it uh, just does not want to do it. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to just zoom in as close as possible. And you should be able to see everything. So, um, little hiccup. Uh, sorry about that. I did not know that was going to be a problem. But uh, we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it this way. So anyway, I have a uh, keyboard and mouse plugged into the dock 
of the uh, Steam Deck here. And I actually need to put on my glasses because it's too far away. I can't even see it. Um, so basically what we're going to do is um, we're right here at the start. So we're in like the normal game interface. We are going to hit the Steam button and we are going to go to power and we are going to go to switch to desktop mode. And I'm in the footage. Ugh. That is uh, terrible. Okay, whatever. Maybe if I put the light here, I'll go away. No, it just makes it worse. It just makes it worse. Oh, well, I'll be in the video in the background. This is a terrible tutorial, by the way. <laughs> it's already going to shit. Okay, anyway. Um, what we are going to do here is now that we are in desktop mode, I'm actually going to show you kind of um, how the emu deck sets up the folders first. And I'm going to talk about the two types of game files you can get for the Wii U. So what you're going to want to go to is your file explorer here. It's called Dolphin. Don't mix it up with the Dolphin emulator. Um, I'm already in ROMs file. So I'm going to go to Home. Now, this is what I mentioned before in the beginning. I installed Emudeck on the Steam Deck itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Home folder right here. And um, I'm actually going to upper-mize this um, just so you can hopefully see a little bit better. Again, I'm recording with a camera, not what I wanted to do. But anyway, we're, I'm at my home folder. This is where uh, the folders are set up in my case. If you installed it on the SD card, what you want to do is go down all the way to the bottom here where it says primary. Um, or whatever, whatever you name it'll. If you named your uh, SD card, it'll come up right here. Whatever you named it. So this is the SD card. Uh, it's under Removable Devices. So that's where you go. In my case, I just go to Home. If you install an SD card, you go all the way down to your primary, right there. That's the only difference. So now we did it. Uh, let's go through how Emudeck sets up the folders. Uh, you'll get an Emudeck folder here. We don't need this but we will use the emulation folder. So we're going to click the emulation folder and it'll take us to a series of folders right here. So we're going to go to the ROMs folder because we're going to go where the games are. Now you're going to find your Wii U folder. And then from your Wii U folder, adjust it here, make sure you can see it. Then from your Wii U folder, you're going to go into your ROMs folder. So you go home, emulation, ROMs, Wii U, and then ROMs again. So here are the two files I want to mention. We got a WUX file. This is the most common game file that you'll find when you're looking for um, Wii U games. We also have, uh, I'm gonna go to the readme text so I, I get the right naming, or whoops, the system info text. Um, this is an RPX file. So The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, I have it as an RPX file. Basically, when you download an RPX file, it comes in like a zip folder, you unzip it, and then all you need to do is bring that folder into your ROMs and it will work. But what we're gonna talk about, and these files are actually harder to find than the WUX files. Um, so if you find a, a, an RPX file, it should work right away, really no problems. If you find a uh, WX file, you actually have to do something for it. So, but we'll get into that in a minute. So, this is where you actually place your uh, games. So, okay. So you got, um, so let's uh, start from scratch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our downloads folder. So here is our download. Uh, I, I'm using Rayman Legends um, for this example. So all you need to do is, I'm in my downloads folder, I just download the game. As the camera gets blurry again, sorry. Okay, so we got our Rayman Legends file here in my downloads folder, I just downloaded it. You know, this is what you'd see. So what you're gonna wanna do is cut this, so we're gonna right click, cut, and now we're gonna go back to that ROMs folder, so we're gonna go to home. In my case, if you did the SD card, you go to primary. Then we're gonna go to emulation, then we're gonna go to ROMs, and then from ROMs, we're gonna go to Wii U, 
and then from Wii U we're gonna go to ROMs again. And what we're gonna do is we are going to paste um, this file in here. So now Rayman Legends, the WUX file, is here in our ROMs folder. So now I'm actually gonna go back to home. We're gonna go to emulators. I'm gonna show you what happens when you just put the file in the ROMs folder. So we're gonna go to um, home, emulations. Now we're gonna go to tools and then launchers. So launchers um, folder, this is where they have like the standalone emulators that you can just launch. So I'm gonna go to Simu. This is the Wii U emulator. Um, this it's C E M U dot S H. We're gonna double click that. We are gonna click execute. It'll take a second. So this is your Wii U emulator. So you see, I have like Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD. Oh, and Rayman does come up. Oh, look at that. Will it work? Oh, wow, it works right off the bat. Making me a liar. I might actually have the key in there. So, that way we know it's actually working. Um, but if it is not working, which might be the case, here's what you have to do. So when you go to, well, I'll actually just start over. Go back to home. We'll go to emulation. We are going to go to ROMs, Wii U, and then in this folder, the Wii U folder, you should have a folder or a file right here that says keys. So we're going to double click that. And what opens it, yeah, I do have the uh, Rayman Legends key already. I, I forgot I had that. So actually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, copy this key. Actually cut it out. Uh, or can I not cut? Oh, is my keyboard not on? Cut that out of there. Delete it. I'm going to save. So basically for the WUX files to work, you need to put the corresponding key in the keys folder for it to read it. So now that I took the Rayman out, if we go back to um, emulation, tools, launchers, and um, Simu, you're going to see Rayman is gone. It's not reading uh, Rayman Origins anymore, or Rayman uh, Legends. Um, so Rayman is gone, and it's because I don't have the key. So all you need to do is uh, find the corresponding key for the game you downloaded. So we're gonna go back to home, emulators, uh, ROMs, Wii U. Um, we're gonna go to keys. And all you need to do is simply just go to a new line. So I'm on line 22 here and paste that key in. So it's Rayman Legends um, and a note you, the keys are region specific, so if you have the U.S. version of Rayman Legends or whatever game, you need the U.S. key to have that game to work. So I pasted the key in. It doesn't matter what order you do it in, as long as the key is in here somewhere, um, it will work. So I'm just going to hit save, and now we can go to... Go back to home, emulations, tools, launchers, Simu, execute Simu, and bam, we got Rayman back. See, right here, right in the uh, folder. So that's that's really the only thing you need to do is you need to find the corresponding key and paste it in that key folder, and then the games will run. One more thing you want to do. So now that you got the game in here and it's working fine and great. Um, what you want to go to is go to Options and Input Settings. And now, this is what, what we're going to do is configure the controls for the um, Pro Controller. So your game will run um, in the Steam interface. So basically to do that, all you need to do is go down here and go to Deck. So you open up the Input Settings and under Profile, just hit Deck. And then... Um, what you want to do is uh, click on the emulated controller and just put Wii U Pro Controller. And then I'm going to hit load. Hey, it's not working. 
See, I already did this, so basically when I go to input settings and I go to deck, we put input controller. It sets it up where all the buttons are right. So your A button is A, your B button is B. It actually switches them up, uh, but you could change them in the Steam thing. Um, so yeah, you want to do that. And then one more thing, once you did that, once you set it to deck and then set it to Wii U Pro Controller, and it did this stuff and you hit save and it's all good, what you need to do is go to the game itself, right click on it, and go to edit game profile, and then go to controller, and then for controller one, you're gonna just wanna set it to deck. And that's all you need to do. Because if you don't do that, when you actually do load the game, uh, your buttons won't work if you skipped that step. So just make sure the game's on deck and then once that's done, you can just exit out, and we can exit out of the normal folder. Now what you want to do is you want to run emudeck. And when you run emudeck, you want to make sure Steam is not open. So make sure your Steam is closed. We are going to run emudeck here. It's going to take a second. So bam. So you should get like a screen that looks like this. There is a option down here for tools and stuff. So you're going to click that, and then we're going to go to the select uh, Steam ROM manager. So you're going to click that, uh, just hit yes. You can actually, ex actually exit out of um, MU deck right now. And I'm going to make this a full window. And basically this is the Steam ROM manager, and it's actually super easy to use. So the way it's set up is right here under... Um, was this phasers or parsers um, right here under parsers basically what this is is you need to click this one on make sure this switches on and basically this is a list of emulators that will show up on your um, game interface so we got like this one says like PlayStation Vita um, this one's uh, arcade this one's a uh, PlayStation Portable, so PSP. So I have some of these emulators on. These are PS3. What you want to, for the Wii U specifically, come on. For the Wii U specifically, you want these two set up. Uh, Nintendo Wii U Simu, and then this one, Nintendo Wii U Simu. I don't know why there's two, just click on both on. And the only thing you need to make sure, and if you didn't like mess with anything, is for the Wii U, just make sure um, where it's under Steam directory, oh, ROMs directory, just make sure it's in that Wii U's ROM folder. So it goes home, deck, emulation, ROMs, Wii U, and ROMs. Just make sure it's in the folder that you actually put your games in. So if you did it some other way, just make sure it's there. Again, if you didn't mess with it at all, it should be all set up for you. So we're gonna go up here, and then once you have it all set up and all the emulators clicked, you're gonna go to preview, and on the button right down here, you're gonna go to generate apps list. And um, I actually have quite a few games on here, so it takes a minute every time I do it. Um, and it actually gives you a little countdown right here. You'll know when they like, when that blue thing comes up right there. So once that blue thing's up, what you're going to do is hit save app list on the bottom here. So we're gonna click that. Um, it'll show a blue message and then it should show a green message saying done, adding and removing, whatever. So you're all good on this end. So now when we exit out, um, oh and before we start um, return to games mode, I'm actually going to show off where you get the keys from. Hopefully it's still here. Um, keys. There it is. So I'm gonna leave a link to this website in the description below. Basically this website gives you a bunch of keys for the games. So if you're looking for like, oh, where do I get like the keys to um, use the WUX files? This doesn't have all of them, but it has a ton of them. 
Again, you just have to make sure you are using the right region key for the right game. Um, so they have like a lot of Europeans, a lot of US. Um, so just make sure you find the right key for the game and you should be fine. So I'll leave a link to this website in the description below. Really good help. Again, it doesn't have every game, but it has a lot. So now when we go to return to game mode, it'll take a second. And again, I hate how I'm showing up on the camera, but whatever, whatever. It is what it is. Um, it takes a second. Boop, boop. So now if you did everything right, what we can do here is, well, I'll leave it out, out here. I gotta like extend my arm, whoa, super far. So now if we go to the game interface and we go back to our library, um, it'll show up in non-Steam games. So these are all like my non-Steam games. These, these games are all emulated by the way. Um, so you do get a ton. But if we go down, we got Rayman Legends right there. So we're gonna click on that with the A button. We are going to click play and hopefully it works. I actually haven't tested this game out. Some games don't work like Tekken, Tag Tournament 2, that game didn't work. But it looks like it's running. And a good uh, check is try to hit like the buttons. I don't know if it allows you to skip these title screens. Um, press any button. Okay, see, this is this is where one of the problems come in. I guess it did not save the uh, controller, which is fine, and I'm actually glad this problem came up. So now what we can do is um, hit the Steam button again. Go over. Well, actually, yeah. See, so I'm pressing the buttons. Nothing's working. So we're gonna go to Steam, we're going to exit game, confirm. We're gonna go back to desktop mode and you might just have to like run it once in game mode. Whoop. In game mode first and then go back, reset the controls and then it should work. So we're back to desktop. We are gonna go back to our folders gonna go to home emulation tools launchers simu execute exit out of that go to game profile controllers oh, is it? it is on deck input settings Okay, so I just loaded and saved the controller profile again. Um, so hopefully that's all there is to it. You, and again, you might have to run it in uh, the game mode first for it to work. Again, it's finicky. It's emulation, so again, it's not going to be like one-to-one -one all the time. Come on, focus. So again, it's not gonna be one-to-one. -one. There is a little bit of like trial and error with it, but hopefully it works this time. I had the same problem with Tekken, uh, Tekken Tag, um, where the controller just would not wanna like sync up. Again, I don't know if you could skip these or not. Game runs an auto save. Yes, yes. Or it might just be that you can't use the Pro Controller for uh, Rayman. That might be it. It might not be accessible with uh, the Pro Controller. You might have to use it in. Uh... So you can't even use like the touch screen. Huh? If that's the case and you can't use the Pro Controller, I guess you'd have to set it to. Um... Ooh, I have to go check that in. 
But anyway, um, this tutorial is getting on a little long. The game does work, it does run. You might have some controller issues depending on if the game is compatible with the Wii U Pro Controller. That If it's not the case and you have to use the Wii U pad, um, you just have to set it to Wii U. But I will show off like Wind Waker HD, for example. There's a Wii U game running on Simu. It does, in fact, use the um, Pro Controller. This has to load the shaders in real quick. Like, it does, in fact, load the um, Pro Controller controls. And as you can see, it does work. And it even specifically asks for the Pro Controller. So, um... As you can see, it does work. I just turned on Wind Waker. We're playing it right now. And everything works fine. So, again, it might be Rayman Legends. I actually didn't look into that before I uh, downloaded the game. Um, but it does, it might be the fact that it does not use the Pro Controller, which is the problem. So, um, yeah, you just got to figure that stuff out. Again, it's emulation. It's a little tricky. But that is how you get your Wii U games running on your Steam Deck. So, uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was, a, like, a concise tutorial. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer them. Um, and, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make this video. Again, it took me a while to figure out how to get the Wii U emulator working on uh, the Steam Deck the way I wanted it. But, after a little bit of trial and error, I figured it out. And, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So, uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It really helps me out. And I will see you guys in some other video. Okay, thanks, bye. Later.